The ongoing fight in Washington over the president's Supreme Court pick could have some real effects across the country this November, as it fires up voters who either want to see Judge Kavanaugh confirmed or denied. Correspondent Peter Ducey reports on one of those key races from Burlington, Wisconsin. In 2016, Republican candidates repeatedly called to build the wall. Let's get the confirmation process done. In 2018, they're calling to confirm Kavanaugh. Look what they have done to Judge Kavanaugh. I don't know about you, but I am ready to have Judge Kavanaugh be the next justice on our United States Supreme Court. Wisconsin's Republican Senate candidate Leah Vukmir doesn't think voters are just watching the Kavanaugh developments. She thinks they're acting on them. People are energized. They want it. I'm hearing it on the phones as I talk to people as well. Vukmir wants to unseat one-term incumbent Senator Tammy Baldwin, who is a no on Kavanaugh, in part because, quote, I cannot support a nominee for a lifetime appointment who would turn back the clock on a woman's constitutional right and freedom to make her own health care choices, including access to birth control. But Senator Baldwin staked out that position on July 12th, and Republican women in Wisconsin think the way more recent hearings played out changes things. I would have voted anyway, but it does motivate me to sort of touch out to other people and say, you got to get out and vote. It's tearing me apart that we have basically become, you know, like a civil war, basically, only, you know, it's... Dems and, and Republicans. I don't think he's being treated fairly, and definitely I'm going to be going to the bout with that in mind. The former White House Chief of Staff and RNC Chair Reince Priebus believes something is brewing. I think the base sees this a, f a fight over our conservative values and whether or not they want to sit back and just watch a man's life get destroyed through through politics. Ultimately, it won't matter unless people paying attention now actually vote. I think it is going to increase our turnout. In 2016, there were plenty of Republicans who voted for President Trump just because of his promise to put conservatives on the Supreme Court. Two years later, Republican challengers, like Leah Vukmir, are hoping that strong feelings stirred by the actual process of putting a conservative on the court help them unseat Democrats. Shannon? Peter Ducey, thank you.